Peggy 16. Welcome to the veteran instruction of Ruse. We're going to explain in depth details about the game. First of all, I'm going to explain more details about the Ruses and I'm going to ask a specialist, Alexi, creative director at Jutan System, to give me more in depth details about the Ruses. So, Alexi, what is your favorite Ruse in the game? I won't say I have a favorite Ruses. I will more um, say that I have favorite combos. For example, if I want to attack the enemy and do a great charge, uh, a powerful charge, I will use the Blitz with the fanatism, meaning that all my units will go twice uh, their speed and they will not uh, root, even if they get uh, substantial damage. Another example is I want to um, put in the mind of my enemy that my base is uh, on the left side of the, of the battlefield. So I will use a fake building on the one hand and camouflage my base on the other one. Combining the ruses together means stronger ruses, stronger strategies. And I guess we didn't find yet all the possible combinations and the players can discover when playing the game. Now, we've covered the factions and the flavor on the whole. Now I'm going to ask Alexi what are the specific details you can take advantage of when playing a faction. One of the great things that you can do with the factions is to try to combine uh, different units. For example, if you play the Germans, one great combo is to have battle tank on the front line followed by assault tank that will be able to destroy all the infantry units and to be able to resist to uh, artillery and uh, infantry units and stuff like this. Also, when you face a German player, you will have to deal with the, the 88 uh, guns, which are deadly for your, for your tanks and have this huge uh, range of fire. So you will need, if, uh, if you want to, um, if you want to make an offensive with tanks, uh, have also some artillery units in order to destroy those units that doesn't have any armor on them. But also, uh, in, each in each factions, what you will find is that you have a different way um, of uh, unit that you can uh, produce uh, in the different categories. For example, in the French faction, you will be able to produce some tanks in the barracks, while, which is, while it will not be the case, for example, for the US will only have infantry units. So, uh, masterizing the factions is knowing exactly what are the assets that you have, but also what are the, the flows that the nation has. So from the start you have different strategies depending on the faction. Some are more powerful in one field in the start, some others Exactly. Afterwards. Okay. I suppose you have played multiple matches, even in teams possibly, but the game also incorporates lots of options to change your multiplayer experience. So Alexi, can you explain what are these options and how you can make a different experience? You have a lot of options, but the most important options you have is by selecting um, the time of the battle. So you can play a match in 1939 or a match in 1939 to 1942 and the classical match where you have units from 1939 to 1945. Each of this uh, time period will allow you or prevent you from um, making research for new units. For example, when you will play in 1939, you will have no research available, which means you will have very uh, short 
um, amount of units to play with. So basically you can have a, a completely different experience while trying a faction in 1939 as opposed to the full time period. Exactly, and that's, that, is, that is why it's interesting to give those three uh, different time period. The second point is uh, you can select the length of the game. Normally a one versus one game is about 25 minutes. Uh, you can uh, select uh, exactly the time length you want or go up to no time limit at all, which is the annihilation mode, meaning that in this mode,